today, as expected, kind of the, the rainfall was going to be more on the fringes of Iowa here today, and it wasn't really impressive. So we're not talking too much about rain, unfortunately, here the rest of your Wednesday. We're talking actually about more sunshine here as we go through later on. Right now you can see some places still got some cloud. I mean, it's kind of a veil of high clouds here over the metro area at this point. You can see a few of those high level cirrus clouds in our Creston camera too. A couple of those cumulus clouds bubbling up to the north in Algona. 73 is our temperature too here in the Des Moines metro and most places outside 70s with not too much humidity. So it's really nice sort of day, especially by July standards. You notice too those clouds start to work their way out of Iowa, mostly the southern half of the state still with those clouds. Northwest Iowa, you're already getting up into the sunshine once again. So that should help our temperatures climb a little bit higher, probably closer to 80 later this afternoon. Those storms headed well south out of Nebraska, clipped us and went down into Missouri. They're headed down towards uh, mainly that boundary that's that direction. High pressure close by just kept our air too dry, so it just kind of, you know, put a shield over us, and those storms had to skim by us and go uh, out to the south. Now, as we head towards tonight and tomorrow, we'll look towards the north and west, a little disturbance up towards the northern plains that should head our direction and provide our next possibility for some moisture. It's not going to be tonight, though. Most of us stay dry with just a few passing clouds here later on this evening after that more sunshine we get today. Disturbance goes by of Minnesota here into the overnight hours to early tomorrow morning, maybe around sunrise. So this could mean maybe a stray shower or storm. It looks like up to the far north. So places like Algona over towards Forest City, Mason City, back towards Emmitsburg, at least an isolated chance at some rain. But that's about it for late tonight. Then we go into tomorrow and we start to build up a little bit more heat tomorrow. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and our temperatures no more 70s. We're going to get back up to those traditional sort of July temps tomorrow. Middle 80s and enough humidity flowing out of the south that our feels like temps tomorrow afternoon should be approaching the 90 degree mark in the afternoon before our next little chance of rain comes in from the north and west. Approaching front coming out of South Dakota. Try to fire up a couple of storms as we go towards later tomorrow afternoon and into your Wednesday evening. Up in Fort Dodge, state softball obviously still going on. By tomorrow, let's see, uh, we'll be in uh, the semifinal rounds up that direction. Maybe keep that in mind here. We'll monitor that chance because right now it doesn't look too widespread that that front will be able to pump out tons of storms, but at least it's a chance. And then we'll go back to a little bit cooler readings, lower 80s for the rest of the week. Today, creeping up to 80 itself. Right now we're right in the 70s, so it should be a pretty nice afternoon as those uh, clouds slowly slip by and go off to the south and east. Partly cloudy tonight, with just a slim chance of a storm to the north. Temperatures going down into the lower 60s. And then once we head towards the later part of this week, it's lower to middle 80s, which is not a bad place to be, especially since we'll push a lot of the humidity out of here again. Thursday, Friday and into Saturday pretty good stuff for mid July. The heat is looking more likely to start building though as we head into next week. 90s are starting to look more likely there.